Y'all, this episode of Catfish just irritated the hell out of me. It irritated the hell out of me. I just got through watching it. I watched it on my way home from work. Um, I was listening to it on my Bluetooth through my phone, and I damn near crashed my car a couple times. I can't even lie. This damn episode irritated the hell out of me. But before we get into the review, if you have not done so just yet, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think of this video with a thumbs up or a thumbs down, and hit the notification button so you will know when I, uh, uh, whenever I upload new content. I had to slow that Mustang down, Sally. Um... Let's just get right into the bullshit, y'all. So, we have 26-year-old Taylor. She is in L.A. She's been talking to this guy named Kristen. He's 26. He's from Atlanta, ATL, shawty. She said that he slid in her DMs, sent her a message, and was like, hey, we went to school together. Let's reconnect. She sends him a message back and was like, mm, do I know you? How do I know you? Blah, blah, blah. So, he sends a message back and was like, yeah, I know you. You transferred from yada yada school, and now you was you know, you came over here to our school. So she was like, oh, okay, well, if you know that, then yeah, obviously you do know me because I was that bitch and I was popping. At least that was her attitude or whatever, right? Real pretty girl. Let's just say that off top. Taylor was a beautiful, beautiful girl. Why we had to go through all this bullshit, I don't even know whether that's neither here nor there. But she said that they went from talking on Facebook Messenger to them texting on the phone to them talking on the phone to her wanting to FaceTime and he's always got all these excuses like his phone is broke, he doesn't have this, he doesn't have that, phone is cracked, ain't gonna work, yada, yada, yada. She said she tried to um, FaceTime him through Messenger, but he said that his phone and uh, his account was hacked and so everything was shut down. So Neve is like, okay, well, if his account got hacked, why would it get shut down? Why would the hacker hack into the account just to shut it down don't make no sense right didn't make no goddamn sense to nobody they could tell off top someone right with chick someone right with chick me and me was here we was kindred spirits on this i could tell off top it was something that just wasn't right about her i couldn't put my finger on it but oh wait Wait. So Neve has a uh, guest host this week. Her name is Tallulah Willis. You know, she was on number four, Bruce Willis's daughter. Anyways, they fly to LA where um, Taylor is. And so, you know, to get some more information about this Kristen dude that she's been talking to, right? She says, now in the beginning, the letter that Neve wrote, or she, no, the letter she wrote to Neve, Neve was reading it back and it said something about they had been dating for six months, right? So. When they get there to talk to her, she I don't know where, not nine months came in somewhere. Y'all got to forgive me because like I said, I was listening to it on the way home. So these notes I got are just off my memory because I don't want to watch the shit again because it irritated me the first time. And I don't want it to piss me off if I watch it the goddamn second time. So um, I don't know where the nine months came in. If I get it wrong correctly, you can correctly, keyword correctly, you can correctly um, correct me down in the comments below. But anyway, it's neither here nor there. So, um, yeah, so like I was saying, she's saying that, um, whenever she tries to FaceTime with him, he can't do a blah, blah, blah. And then he said that his account got, his, uh, yeah, his account got hacked. He also called her one day from a new phone and said, this is my new phone number. So the old number that he had when his no more, he got a new number, right? But they haven't talked in about five months. Now, she said that they were talking on this new number for about a month, but they haven't talked in about six months. So it was, it's weird. The time, I don't know, the time on the motherfucker is weird as hell, right? So Neve also asked her, do you happen to know anybody that lives in Atlanta? She's like, yeah, this girl, she's like a sister to me. She's my best friend. Her name is Jerrica. Now they ask her, do you by any chance think that Jerrica could be the one that's behind this? No, Jerrica, that's my bitch. That's my girl. She wouldn't do that. Blah, 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 right? So Neve was like, all right, cool. Send me all the information that you got on him. Me and my girl going to go over here. We're going to do some research. We're going to see if we're going to find out, right? She's like, all right, cool. So, Tallulah and Neve go off to do their research on him, uh, on him, right? So, she sends them an email with all of his information, the old number, the new number, and pictures of him. Then she also says in the email, I've already done an image search on him and nothing came up. So, you don't have to do that. You're going to have to try to find him another way. Neve is like, mm, I don't trust this bitch. I don't trust this bitch. 
So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and do my own image search, right? They do the image search. First picture that pop up is this dude, Kristen. It turns out he's a model for an online boutique. So, bam, they find out right there. Okay, so it's obviously not the guy that she's been talking to on the phone or she's been communicating with this whole time. Let's do a search on the phone number. The old phone number is what they start with, right? They do a search on the old phone number and they find out the first that the number is registered to a girl named Jerrica Montez. Now, her best friend's name is Jerrica. So they're like, well, what are the odds that it's actually her best friend that's been catfishing her the whole time? What if she's had a guy, you know, be the person behind the voice and then hence when she tries to FaceTime and all this other shit, she can't do it because it's not really her. Yeah, true. It could be a possibility, right? So they text Taylor and they ask Taylor, what is your best friend's last name? And oh, what is her number? Can we get in contact with her? It takes her a minute to text back, right? While they text them back, they check out Taylor's social media. Her Facebook is on private, but her Instagram is public. She got all kind of thirst trap pictures up. And he was like, you know, she's like a typical L.A. girl. I ain't said I ain't never been to L.A. I don't know no bitches from L.A. So I can't say nothing about what a typical L.A. girl is. So don't come for me because I ain't sending for you on that. But what I am saying is what Neve is saying is that she's like a typical L.A. girl. She posting all these pictures so she can be famous because she wants her social media to pop. And so this could be her way of trying to make her social media pop, right? So she finally texted them back and was like, so I talked to my friend and asked her that she want to talk to you all. And she said, no, thank you. Bitch, I didn't want to ask you. I asked you what her last name is. She never answered that back, right? So Neve was like, you know what? Let's just go on over there to the house, to her crib. Let's tell her what we find out and see if she gonna lie. Let's, let's put this bitch on the spot. Let her know, like, hey, look. So we searched this number, and it's your homegirl number. So do you think it could be your homegirl? Like, what's, what's, what's good? What's good? Because we know something ain't right. Something is fishy with this catfish, and we can smell we can smell it all up in there. So they end up going back to Taylor and they tell her the information that they find out, right? That they find out that um, Kristen ain't really Kristen. This is got from this online boutique. And he was like, I thought you said you did an image search. If you did an image search that you would see that he was the first person that popped up. And she like, oh, really? Yes, really, bitch, stop playing. So then he was like, we did a search, a reverse search on the phone number. And the phone number is registered uh, uh, to a girl named Jerrica. Now, what is your best friend's last name? Montez, really? So you didn't realize, are you like, you really don't realize that this number is registered to your best friend that never came up to you? Like that, 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 that never seemed kind of odd to you? And she's acting fake as hell. No, that's so weird. Oh my God, I would have never thought to do that. And so Neva's like, you know what? Let's just call Christian. You say you've been trying to call him on this new number that he gave you and he ain't been answering. Let me call. Need call. Hello? Neva's like, well, hello there. This is Neve with Catfish. I have Taylor here with me. We're filming an episode of Catfish right now. We want to know if we can come down and meet you. Yeah, sure. Whatever you want to know. You're just going to have to come down to Ohio. I'm ready to clear this whole thing up anyway. Neve was like, Ohio? But I thought you was in Atlanta. Yeah, I was, but I had to come to Ohio real quick. So, yeah, or something like that, he said. He was like, mm, all right, all right, cuz we gonna holler at you when we on our way down there. When we get there, whoop -de -whoop, we'll let you know, yada, 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 right? Hang up. And he was like, eh, we ain't going to Ohio. We ain't going to ATL, shawty. We ain't going nowhere until I figure this shit out. Cuz I can tell something is fishy in the catfish. Y'all motherfuckers ain't fooling nobody. Something ain't right. So Neve was like, you know what? I know what we can do. Let's do a reverse search on your friend, Jerrica, to see where she is. Because you do you think she could be in Ohio? And, he, and um, Taylor's like, no, I know for a fact she's in Atlanta. Like, there's no way she could be in Ohio. She's in Atlanta. I know for a fact. So he's like, all right, let's do, I think, what did he call it? Grabify. Grabify to find out where she is. Now, this some cold shit. What you do from your website or from your phone, you text a link to a phone number, right? And once that person opens up that text, once they click on that link and opens it up, it sends a message back to the sender to let them know where they are. 
and you niggas is out here worried about the face app. I'm not even gonna go there with it. Move right along. But he's like, okay, I need you to text her this link. And when she clicks on it, once she opens it up, we're going to be able to tell if she's in Ohio or if she's in ATL, shawty. All right, I need you to text this to her. She's like, all right, cool. So as she's texting to her phone, Neve is looking over her shoulder. He's like, oh, I see you text her recently. And she was like, yeah, yeah. And so Neve was like, wait a minute. That number look familiar. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He looked, wait a minute. This is the number that you gave me for Christian. She's like, what? No, 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 not at all. He's like, wait a minute. You never noticed that this is the same damn number? She's like, no, no, because I, she, I, 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 he's like, no, yeah, 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 yeah. You never noticed that these numbers are the same? You gave me two different numbers. Now, the number that you were texting her from is the old number that's Christian. She's like, no, but I, that's, I've never talked to her on this phone. He said, right, because this is the new number that we just called and he answered. So what is going on? She's like, no, I don't, I don't know anything. Like, no, I've never talked to her on this and he was like, wait a minute, hold on. Some ain't right, man. Some ain't right because you claim that you don't know nothing about this, but the two numbers that you send me, both of these numbers end up being Jerrica's. Who catfishing who around this motherfucker? It don't even, no, no, man. No. Now, she does say that something seemed odd with the numbers, so she asked her friend Jerrica if it could be her. That's what she backdoes and says after Neve kind of sort of backs her in the corner where she had to tell the truth. Neve is like, well, why didn't you say that at first? Well, she said it wasn't her. And I know in my heart, I know deep in my heart that that's not her. She would never do something like that. Neve is like, well, why didn't you say something like that in the first place? You could have told us that. That way we could have went about this a whole different angle. But you never said anything. But now you want to say something. Because that bitch was getting backed in the corner. And she already knew that her ass was, she's getting fucking exposed. So it's the next morning, right? Neve called Tallulah. He like, bitch, let me tell you. So girl, I got a text message in the middle of the night saying, uh, you're getting played. Call me before you do anything. So like, bitch, what? Yup. She like, all right, well, come on down over here to the room so we can call Taylor so we can expose this bitch because now we know she up to no goddamn good. He like, all right, bitch, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. So they finally get to the room, right? They down in Tallulah's room. And so Tallulah, Neve, and Taylor, they all sit down and talk. And Neve is like, all right, so look, let me tell you what I got. I got a text message from this number saying, hey, we all getting played. Call me before you do anything. Do you know anything about this? And Taylor like, no, I don't, I don't know nothing about that. Shit, ain't got nothing to do with me. I don't know nothing about that. He like, all right, cool. Well, let's just call the number right now find out. She's like, all right, cool. So she called the number. It's this chick named Jade that answers the phone. Jade is like, um, yeah, I can give you all the answers that you're looking for. Um, we ready to clear this up. You're just going to have to come to Atlanta for all your answers. And he was like, all right, bet. Cool. We going to ATL, shawty. So they finally get to Atlanta. When they get to Atlanta, they text Christian, right? Hey, we hear Christian or whatever. Oh, and when they also talked to the girl named Jade on the phone, she told them Christian is really a guy named Austin. He's not Christian, right? So we ain't gonna call him Christian no more. The nigga name is Austin. So they finally get to Atlanta. They text Christian Austin. Uh, we're here in Atlanta. Let us know when you want to meet up, right? So in the process of them waiting to hear back from Austin slash Christian, no, we're gonna call him his name. His mama name Austin. I'm gonna call him Austin. So in the midst of them waiting on Austin to call back, they call Jade. And Jade is like, um, well, I actually have Austin right here with me right now. You know what I'm saying? So I can send y'all the address. I can drop y'all a pen. Y'all can come over here. We can clear this whole thing up. He like, all right, bet. Text me the address. He texts her the ad. No, uh, Jade texts Neve the address. It's only like nine minutes away walking distance. Neve is like, is this? Producers probably set that shit up. They didn't want to waste no money on the gas since they already knew they was wasting fucking plane tickets coming out there. So they walk over there to the house. Neve knock on the door. Jay comes out the house. Austin comes out the house. So they like, okay, so what the fuck is going on? She was like, all right, Jade is like, okay, so it actually started out being a joke, you know, and it kind of just snowballed and it went too far. Austin is like, it was my friend Haley that helped us set everything up. 
this as they talking taylor's over here crying i can't believe you guys did this like i know i just look so stupid and so she goes like she's gonna walk off and so she looks back at me she's like ah, can we leave and he was like no mm -mm. come back on over here we finna clear this shit up right goddamn now because some shit don't even seem right about this as they are talking goddamn a car pulls up and it's Haley. So Haley is like, you know what, Taylor, my bad, bro. I apologize. You know, it was supposed to be a joke and it just went too far and my apologies. And so she was like, Taylor, gonna be like, do you know people commit suicide over things like this? Like, this is horrible. Why would you do this? And he was like, you know what? I don't believe you, 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 or you. All y'all motherfuckers is lying. So somebody finna have to come clean with the truth right goddamn now because I'm about to get pissed and I'm about to start fighting everybody up in here and that y'all let me know what the hell going on because I ain't here with the shits today. I'm here with, with the shits, but I'm not here with this bullshit shits today. Like, let me know what's real. So the producer's like, hold on, time out. Let's take a pause for the calls. Let you air out your goddamn ass real quick because you're kind of getting heated. So the producers pull Neve and Tallulah over the side. They tell them that they got in contact with Jerrica. Jerrica say the reason why she don't want to talk is because she didn't want to be deceptive. She didn't want to be involved in anything that Taylor got going on in Taylor's lies. And so ain't none of that shit true. It's all made up and Taylor was the one that did it all. That's why she didn't want to talk. Neve like, oh, they done got a plan. All right, cool. Neve go back over to a mall smooth and come like, hey, look, you know what I'm saying? Let's just all go inside and let's relax. Let's just talk about it and let's just relax, right? So they go in and they sit down. And so Neve is like, all right, so let's, let's start from the beginning. How did all this happen, right? So, Haley is like, um, you know what, it was, it was just supposed to be a joke, it started off like a joke, it just kind of got too serious, and I, I don't know, I don't know. So, Neve is like, okay, so who was Jerrica? And all three of them, Austin, and Haley, and Jade, they all like, I don't know who the fuck is Jerrica. And so, they're like, Taylor, so you ain't got nothing to say about this? And she's like, ah. I don't know what's going on. And so, Taylor, like, you know what? This is some bullshit. Y'all need to let me know right now what's going on. Haley's like, you know what? I just want everybody to accept their responsibility and their role in this whole thing. That's all I'm saying. And so, Taylor's looking like, well, what are you talking about? What, what do you mean their roles? She's like, look, Taylor, I'm giving you the opportunity to speak your truth. That's what it is. And he was like, oh. The truth that she made all this up because she just wanted to bring up her um, followers on her social media because she's trying to be popping and all of that. And she's trying to be famous and all of that. And so she set this whole thing up and flew us all out here for nothing because the bitch knew it was a lie from the jump. All three of them looked at each other, looked at Neve and said, yep. And he was like, oh, okay, bitch. Well, look here. I got my answers. I've seen her what the fuck I want to see in here. Y'all kiss my ass. I'm out. That ain't what he said, but that's kind of the attitude that he gave off. Him and Tallulah get up, and they walk out. Taylor's still sitting there looking dumbfound. Like, what the fuck? All four of them sitting there looking dumbfound. Like, what the fuck? Y'all can't leave this bitch in my house? Y'all gave her a ride here. Y'all better get this bitch up out my house. So, Austin, Jade, and Haley, they run downstairs to Neve. They apologize to Neve. They was like, look, this train was already moving. We just kind of jumped on the train, and this motherfucker started getting a little bumpy. And so, we just trying to jump off because we ain't want nothing to do with this shit. You know what I'm saying? I apologize. I'm, it, my bad. Neve was like, yeah, you fucked up, but I, I appreciate your apology. Thank you for that. So, as they pulling off to leave, Neve hopped out the car. Taylor come outside, and he was like, oh, you got something to say? I just want to apologize. I know you think that I'm a shallow, disgusting person, and I'm not. And I really do care about people's feelings. And he was like, all right, cool. I'll holla at you. Him and Tallulah got in the car, and they do stuff. And they left that bitch there. That bitch made that shit up. All because she's trying to get her social media popping. So how they do the little two-month follow-up or whatever, they didn't actually follow up with them. But they did say that they spoke with Jerrica. Jerrica said that it was Taylor's idea from the jump. Taylor 
Then when Jerrica didn't want to do it, she wrote to some people that she knew. And basically, she sought out some motherfuckers to help her go through with this catfish. Haley was supposed to be the catfish the whole time. But Haley was like, oh, no, hell no. This shit getting too goddamn wild. I can't even fucking do it. Why she even threw her best friend out there like that? That's fucked up, y'all. And that was the end of the episode. That shit pissed me off. It irritated the hell out of me. Was it watchworthy? Only if you're trying to get your high blood pressure up. Because that episode pissed me off. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this review. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out, y'all. What's up, y'all? Do me a favor and share the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think and um, hit that notification button so you will be up to date when I upload my latest videos. Ahala.